Okay, so good evening. My name is Teacher Beth and welcome to our 60 minute gentle yoga class. Thank you for joining me on a Monday night. Let's start the week with some gentle stretches. For tonight's speak pose, we're going to be um, doing a revolve hand to knee, hand to toe pose. So it's a stretch in our groins, in our hamstrings, and also we can uh, feel the lengthening and um, the improvement in our flexibility. All right. So in case you don't feel that you want to do more or you just want to do less for tonight, it's just listen to yourself. It's perfectly fine. And in case you have previous injuries or medical conditions of any sort, just make sure that you have the approval of your doctor to, to do the yoga practice. All right. So let's begin. In a thunderbolt pose, we will begin our breathing exercises, our grounding and centering in a thunderbolt pose. So put your knees together, sit on your heels. Spine is long and straight, shoulders are relaxed. Put your palms together, hands in heart center. And if you feel safe, close your eyes. Inhale through the nose. Fill your lungs with air. Exhaling out through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Feel your lungs expanding, exhaling out through the mouth. Last one, inhale through the nose, fill your lungs with air, exhaling out through the mouth. Now let's do square breathing. Inhale for four, hold for four, exhaling for four, and then we hold again for four. This exercise will strengthen your lungs as well as try to relax your body. All right, we begin. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four. One more cycle. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, four, three, two, one. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, four, Three, two, one. Exhaling for four. Three, two, one. Hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale out through the nose. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling out through the nose. Try to relax your body. Prepare the mind for the practice tonight. And as you do your normal breathing, set the intention for today's practice. On your next breath, gently open your eyes. Put your hands down. We will begin our stretching. Still in our thunderbolt pose. Inhale, raise your hands up. Palms together. Exhaling, hands in heart center, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, raise your hands up. Try to not to release your palms. Exhaling, hands in heart center chin to chest. Inhale, palms together. Look up, look at your thumb. Exhaling, hands in heart center, chin to chest. One more time, inhale. Look up, exhale, hands in heart center, chin to chest. Last one, inhale deeply. 
Exhaling out completely. Hands, heart center. Inhale, release your hands by your side. Let's do stretching. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, bend to the right. Bend your elbows. Stretch your left hand alongside your ears. Pull your shoulders back. Open your chest. Look at the ceiling. Three breaths here. One. Two. And three. Inhale, lift both hands up. Exhale, bend to the other side, right hand alongside your ears. Pull your shoulders back, open your chest. If you want to do more, look at your right hand. Three breaths. One, two, and three. Inhale, lift both hands up. Exhale, twist to the right, left hand on your right knee. Right hand a couple of inches away from the butt. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, look at your right shoulder. Three breaths. One, two, and three. Inhale, lift both hands up. Let's twist to the other side. Left hand or right hand on your left thigh. Left hand a couple of inches away from the butt. Inhale, lengthen spine, sit up straight, sit with dignity, push your chest out. Exhale, look at your left shoulder. Three breaths, one, two, and three. Inhale, lift both hands up. Exhale as you fold forward in child's pose. Stomach and chest on your thighs, hands alongside your ears, spread your fingers, palms down, inhale, and exhaling, inhaling, and exhale. On your next breath, roll your spine to tabletop. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Adjust your knees so it's hip distance with apart. Untuck your toes. A couple of cat and cow stretches. Inhale for cow. Look up. Lift your tailbone up. Exhaling, round your back. Look at your navel, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale. Look up. Belly down. Chest open, exhaling for cat pose. Really round your back, squeeze your core. One more time, inhale, lift your head up, exhaling. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, look forward, let's stretch our shoulders. Inhale, lift your right hand up, look at your right hand. And as you exhale, thread your Right hand under your body, your left, your right shoulder, right cheek, right ear is on the mat. You may stay with your arms or your left hand down or lift your left hand up. If you want to do more, bend your left elbow, hold your right hip crease, open your chest, look at the ceiling. Stay here for five, four, don't hold your breath, three, two, and one. Lift your left hand up, drop your left hand, support yourself to tabletop, everything on the other side. Inhale, lift your left hand up. Exhale, thread your left hand under your body, left shoulder, left cheek, left ear is on the mats. You may stay here in this pose or lift your left right hand up. Exhale. If you want to do more, hold your left hip, please. Open your chest. Look at the ceiling. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift your 
your right hand up. Support your right hand. Support yourself to tabletop. Take an inhale and then stretch your right leg to the right side. Your right foot should be aligned with your hip. Flatten your foot on the mat. Your hands are still below the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale as you crawl your hands away from you. Chin, forehead on the mat. Feel the good stretch on your groins. Listen to your body. Two breaths. One. Two. On your next breath, look forward. Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Go to tabletop. We're going to be stretching the left side. Inhale. Exhale, step your left foot. Align your left foot to your hips. Flatten your left foot. Hands below the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale as you crawl your hands away from you. Feel the good stretch on the left groin. Two breaths, chin or forehead on the mat. One, two. On your next breath, look forward. Then gently crawl your hands back to your body. Go to tabletop. Let's do some stretches in tiger pose. Extend your right leg at the back. Point your right toes down. Extend your left hand forward. Balance here. Squeeze your core. Take an in-breath. Exhale as you bend your right knee. Hold your right foot with your left hand. Lift your right leg up as high as you can. Just look forward. Stay here for five. Four, lift your right leg as high as you can. Three, two, and one. Gently release the pose. Everything on the other side. Extend your left leg to the back. Extend your right hand forward. Squeeze your core. Strengthen your core. Take an in-breath. Exhale as you bend your left knee. Hold your left foot with your right hand. Lift your left leg as high as you can. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release the pose. Go to Thunderbolt pose. Sit on your heels. And then spread your knees as wide as your mat. Take an inhale. Exhale as you crawl your hands away from you. Wide-legged child's pose. Chin or forehead on the mat. Arms alongside your ears. Sit on your heels. Allow the gravity to do its work. Let's synchronize our breath. One, two, three. On your next breath, look forward. Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Roll yourself to tabletop. And with your feet, the tops of your feet, Still on the mat, take an inhale. Exhale as you lift your knees up. So the tops of the feet is still on the mat. Knees are a couple of inches away from the mat. Grip the mat with your fingertips. This is very good for your core. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one, release gently, release your knees down, tuck your toes, lift your hips high for a first downward facing dog. You may pedal your feet from side to side to wake up your dog. Right heel down, left heel down. 
So feet are hip distance with apart. Heels may or may not touch the mat. Just make sure that you engage her core. Shoulders away from the ears. Arms are long and straight, 10 fingers spread wide, gripping the mat. We always keep our eyes open in down dog. Two breaths, one, two. On your next breath, you soften the knees, you look forward. You gently walk or step to the top of the mat. Inhaling, put your hands in your shin bones. Or you have the option to put your fingertips on the mat. This is flat back, look forward. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees first, forward fold. And then inhale, circle, sweep your arms up slowly and gently. Lift yourself up, palms together. Look at your thumb. Exhaling, hands in heart center. Hands beside the body, mountain pose. Half sun salutation. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up, palms together. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, we fold forward. If you want to bend your knees, please feel free to do so. Inhale, lift your hands up again. The standing pose, extended mountain. Exhale, hands beside the body, mountain pose. One more time. Inhale, lift your hands up. Palms together if you want. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, we fold forward. Inhale, lift yourself up again to extend that mountain. And then put your hands down beside your body, mountain pose. Last one. Inhale, lift your hands up. Palms together. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, we fold forward. Inhale this time, flat back. You can put your hands on your shin bones or extend your arms forward. Again, you have the option to put your hands on your shin bones or your fingertips on the floor. If you want to do more, extend your hands alongside your ears. We'll be staying here for five, four, three, Two and one. Exhaling forward fold. Put your hands in your hips. Slowly and gently lift yourself up. Let's do sun salutation A now. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up, palms together. You are feeling the length of your body. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, we fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, we fold again. Step one leg back, followed by the other for plank pose. Let's stay here in plank pose for five, four, three, don't hold your breath, two, and one. Drop your knees down, untuck your toes, bend your elbows for crocodile. Stomach and chest on the mat, hug yourself. Inhale for cobra, open chest, lift your chest, just look forward. Feel the good stretch on your lower back. Take an in-breath here. Exhale, tuck your toes, pull your hips high, downward facing dog. Check if you can put your heels down. If your heels are up, it's perfectly okay. Just imagine an inverted letter V from your body. Always keep your eyes in down dog. Keep your eyes open. Looking in between your shin bones, your knees. Or if you want to do more, look at your navel if you can. On your next breath, you soften the knees. You look forward. You step at the top of the mat, inhaling. Flat back. Exhaling, we fold again. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up, palms together. Look at your thumb. Exhaling, hands down, mountain pose. Inhale to chair pose. Bend your knees, put your toes together. Squeeze your inner thighs together. 
Tuck the tailbone in, suck the belly in, and try to sit low. Just three breaths here. One, two, and three. Let's work our legs more. Palms together. Put your hands in heart center. We are still in chair pose. Take an in-breath. Exhale, twist to the right. Put your left elbow outside your right thigh. Look at your right shoulder or look at the ceiling. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, hands in heart center. You're still in chair pose, but if you need to stand and shake your legs, please feel free to do so because we're going to twist on the other side. Take an in-breath. Exhale, twist to the left. Put your right elbow outside your left thigh. Open your shoulders, open your chest. Try to have your hands on heart center. Look at your left shoulder or look at the ceiling. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the pose. Put your hands down. Straighten your legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, we fold again. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up, palms together. Look at your thumb. Exhaling, hands in heart center. Hands down beside the body, mountain pose. If you want, you can shake your legs to release the tension from the chair pose and the chair pose twist. Couple of leg work. Step your right foot at the back. Point your right toes to the right side. Your left toes is pointing to the front or the long edge of the mat. Inhale, open your arms wide. Exhale, try to reach on the right side. Grab your shin bones or your big toes. Open your shoulders, push your hips forward, pull your shoulders backward, lift your left hand up. Triangle pose, you may look down or look up if you want to do more. Stay here for five, four. Imagine that you're leaning against the wall. Three, two, and one. Look down first, lift your body up, bend your right knee, adjust your left leg, go to warrior two. So in warrior two, right knee over ankle, hips and shoulders should be aligned. Strong and stable hands. Inhale. Exhale as you bend your right elbow. Put your elbow on top of your right thigh. Extend your left hand alongside your ears. Stay in here in side angle pose to really feel the stretch of your body. In five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do everything on the other side. Look down. Inhale. Straighten your right leg. Other side now. Point your left toes to the front edge of the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Go to triangle pose. Reach to the left side. Put your hands in your shin bones or grab your big toe. Push your hips forward. Pull your shoulders back. Lift your right hand up. Again, resist the temptation to lean forward. Imagine a wall behind you. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down first. Inhale, lift yourself up. Bend your left knee. Adjust your right foot. Left knee over ankle, hips and shoulders are aligned, strong and stable hands. Take an inhale, exhale, side angle pose. Left elbow on top of your left thigh, 
right hand alongside your ears. Open your chest. If you want to do more, you can look at your right hand. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten your knees. Lift yourself up. Let's do goddess pose. With your legs wider than your hips, the toes pointing outside, put your hands in heart center. Take an inhale. Exhale as you bend your knees. Sit as low as you can. This is goddess pose. Push your hips forward. Pull your shoulders back. If you want to do more, lift your heels. Staying here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Gently put your hand down, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. Straighten your left leg, point your left toes up. Take an inhale here. Exhale as you lift your right hand. Feel the good stretch. On the right side of the body. Stay here for five. Check if your left foot is flexed. Four, three, two, and one. Drop your right hand down. We'll do everything on the other side. Switch, bend your left knee, straighten your left leg, flex your right foot. Take an inhale, exhale as you lift your left hand, stretch. Stay here for five, four, three, flex your right toes, two, and one. Release the pose. Go to forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Put your hands in your hips. Slowly and gently lift yourself up. Step yourself, step your foot on the top of your mat. Take an inhale. Lift your hands alongside your ears. Extended mountain. Exhaling. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Fingertips on the mat or on your shin bones. Exhaling, we fold again. Step one leg back, followed by the other for plank pose. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees down. Untuck your toes. Go to child's pose to catch some breath. Maybe go back to the intention. Acknowledging what's happening in the body. I can feel the stretch on my legs. I can also feel the stretch on my arms. I can also feel the stretch on my lower back and upper back as well. On your next breath, roll yourself up to tabletop. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. The knees are hip distance with the part. Let's do a puppy dog pose. Take an inhale. Exhale as you crawl your hands away from the body. Put your chest, your chin, or your forehead down to the mat. Just make sure that your knees are still over the hips. Look forward. This is a very good stretch on your chest. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift yourself up. Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Transitioning yourself again to tabletop. A couple of cat and cow poses again. Inhale for cow. Look up. Exhaling for cat pose. One more time. Inhale for cow. 
exhaling for a cat pose. Last one, inhale for a cow, look up. Really pull your tailbone up. Exhaling for a cat pose, really round your back. Look at your navel, tuck your chin to your chest. And then we go neutral spine. Let's do pigeon pose. Extend your left leg or your right leg at the back. And then put your right knee at the back of your left hand. Extend your left leg at the back. Flatten your hips. This is pigeon pose. This is a gentle way to transition yourself to pigeon pose. Just make sure that your right knee is pointing forward. Hips are square. Put your hands beside your hips. Open your chest. Look up. Staying here for five, four. I can feel this on my lower back. Three, two, and one. Really push your chest forward. Really look up. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale as you fold forward in slipping pigeon pose. Extend your hands alongside your ears. Acknowledging what's happening in the body. Feel the good stretch on your hips, on your hamstrings. Feel the good stretch on your lower back and in your upper back. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one, we release the pose, look forward, gently crawl your hands back to your body. Go back to tabletop. If you need to sway your hips gently from side to side, please feel free to do so. If you want to do more, transitioning yourself to pigeon, to pigeon you can go to down dog, and then transition yourself to pigeon pose. But for us, we'll try this flow first. Take an inhale, exhale as you extend your left leg at the back, and then put your left knee at the back of your right hand, extend your right leg at the back, flatten your hips, hips are square, Left knee is pointing forward. Put your hands beside your hips. Open your chest. Push your chest forward. Look up. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Try to push your chest forward. Looking up. Exhale. Fold forward. Slipping pigeon. Extend your hands alongside your ears, forehead on the mat. You may close your eyes to really feel the good stretch on your hips, on your left hamstrings, on your lower back, on your upper back. Enjoy what's happening in the body. Breathe on the areas where there is tension and stress. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward. Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Go to tabletop. Now let's do the transition to pigeon pose in a more dynamic way or in a more, if you want to do more. So tuck your toes. Lift your knees a couple of inches away from the mat. Three breaths here, squeezing our core. And then exhaling to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up to three-legged dog. Two breaths here, one. Two. And then bend your right knee. Right foot touches your right butt cheek. Two breaths, one, 
two. On your next breath, you look forward. Now this time, put your right knee at the back of your left hand. Extend your left leg at the back. Put your hands beside your hips. Feel how, how different this is from the previous pigeon pose. Inhale, push your hips for push your chest forward. Pull your shoulders back. Look at the ceiling. Exhaling, fold to sleeping pigeon. I can really feel this on my lower back and in my hamstrings and in my hips. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, look forward. Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Tuck your left toes. Lift your left knee up. Step your right foot at the back. Downward facing dog. You may pedal your feet from side to side, side to side. We're going to do everything on the left side of the body. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Three-legged dog. Two breaths. One, point your left toes as high as you can. Two. And then bend your left knee, left foot on the, left, on the butt cheek. Two breaths again. One. Two. On your next breath, look forward. Put your left knee at the back of your right hand. Extend your right leg at the back. Flatten your hips. Hips are square. Left knee pointing forward. Hands beside the hips. Push your chest up forward. Look up. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale as you fold. Put your pigeon to sleep. Hands beside, alongside your ears. Close your eyes. Feel what's happening in the body. On your next breath, gently lift yourself up. Roll your hands back. Tuck your right toes. Lift your right knee up. Step your left foot at the back. Meeting everyone in downward facing dog. Try to push your chest to your thighs in down dog. I can have my down dog deeper. I can feel it deeper this time because I can feel that my hamstrings are stretched. I can put my heels down, my knees are straight. I can push my chest to my thighs more this time. For those of you who want to do more, you can twist and play with your down dog. Your left hand holds your right heel, opening your chest. Only for those who want to do more on a Monday night. Just make sure that you do that on the other side. Your right hand, hold your left heel, open your chest, look at the ceiling. Playing with your down dog. Release your down dog. Let's deepen our down dog. Inhale. Exhale, try to push your chest, your thighs. And then inhale, roll yourself up to child's pose. Knees on the mat. Sit on your heels, stomach and chest on your thighs. Chin or forehead on the mat. Extend your hands alongside your ears. Close your eyes. Breathe. Maybe go back to your intention. If you can hear yourself breathing, that would be perfect. Let's try to synchronize our breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift yourself up. 
Gently crawl your hands back to your body. Lean on one side. Let's prepare for our peak pose for today. Extend your legs. Flex your toes. Adjust your butt cheeks. Roll your shoulders back. Put your hands beside your hips. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Put your chin to your chest. Don't slouch. Sit with dignity. Spine is long and straight. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Relax. Then we'll do Paschimottanasana or seated forward fold. Inhale. Lift your hands up. Exhale as you fold forward. Grab your shin bones or the outside of your feet or your big toes. Just listen to your body. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale as you fold. Feel the good stretch on your hamstrings in your lower back and your upper back. On your next breath, look forward. Lift yourself up gently. Then spread your legs as wide as you can. Make sure that you flex your toes. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale as you fold forward. Just fold as much as you can. Make sure that you flex, try to flex your toes. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale as you fold more. If you need to bend just your elbows, it's okay. If you want to do more, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale as you fold deeply. This is Upavishta Konasana, wide-legged forward fold. Take an in-breath. And exhale, look forward, gently crawl your hands back to your body. Support your legs. Let's do a cow face so that we can reclose or close our legs after our Upavishta Konasana. Okay, so bend your knees. And then your right leg goes under your left. Your left leg goes on top of your right. And then we do the hands, extend your hands forward. This time your right hand goes on top of your left hand and then bend your elbows, put your palms together. Lift your elbows up, look at your hand. Feel the stretch in your shoulders, feel the stretch in your hips as well. Stay here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Release your hands first. Then release your left leg. Extend your left leg. Release your right leg. Do this gently and mindfully. Bop the knees if you feel the need to. We'll do everything on the other side. Bend your knees. Your left leg goes under your right. Your right Knee goes on top of your left. Make sure that your hips are square. Both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat. Let's do the hands. Extend your hands forward. This time, put your left hand on top of the right. Bend your elbows. Palms together in prayer. Lift your elbows up as high as you can. Staying here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Release your hands first. Then release your right leg. Release your left leg. Bob the knees if you feel the need to. Let's do our peak pose. We're going to be staying in peak pose for like maybe 10 breaths. We're going to do revolve. Hand to knee, hand to toe pose, okay? So spread your legs. We'll do the right side first. So bend your right knee, the soles of your right foot. 
touches your inner left thigh. Sit up straight. Sit with dignity. Inhale. Exhale and extend your left hand. Grab your left big toe. Inhale here. Exhale as you bend your left elbow. Lift your right hand alongside your ears. Just reach as much as you can. Try to reach your left big toe. Open your shoulders. Look up. If you can't reach your big toe, it's okay. If you can just, if you're just here, it's perfectly okay. Right? So just stay where you are comfortable. Really depends on how much more or less you want to do for yourself today. Just make sure that you try to flex your left toes. Open your chest. Look at the ceiling. We'll be staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm really feeling this on my right side. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lift yourself up. Let's do a counter stretch. Bend your right elbow, right hand on the mat, left hand alongside your ears. Try to flex your left toes up. Staying here for five, four, three. Pull your shoulders back, open chest, look up. Three, two, and one. Lift yourself up, hand down. If you need to shake your legs, bop the knees, please feel free to do so. We're going to do everything on the other side. I can really feel this on the right side of the body. I can feel that my right side is longer than my left side now. So we need to balance, okay? So bend your left knee. The soles of your left foot touches your inner right thigh. Flex, always try to flex your right toes so that your legs are active. Take an inhale here. Exhale, reach your right big toe. Bend your left elbow, left hand alongside your ears. You may stay here or if you want to do more, reach your right big toe, open your chest. Accept if you're more flexible on this side or the other side. Our body is not balanced. Our body is not the same every day. Staying here for five, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do a counter stretch. Put your left hand down, bend your left elbow. Right hand alongside your ears. Pull your shoulders back. Flex your right toes. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift yourself up. Extend your legs. Our last seated forward fold for the day. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale as you fold more. Two breaths. One, two. On your next breath, lift yourself up. Let's do half Lord of the Fishes pose. Hug your right knee. Step your right foot outside your left thigh. I'm going to be facing you so that you can see how it looks like. Inhale, raise your left hand. Exhale, twist to the right side. Left elbow outside your right thigh. Right hand alongside or a couple of inches away from the butt. Don't slouch. Sit with dignity. Inhale, squeeze your core. Exhale as you twist more. Three breaths. One. Two and three. On your next breath, release the pose. You'll do everything on the other side. Hug your left knee this time. 
Step your left foot outside your right thigh. Sit with dignity. Sit up straight. Flex your right toes. Inhale, raise your right hand up. Exhale as you twist to the left. Right elbow outside your left thigh. Your left hand a couple of inches away from the butt. Inhale, squeeze your core. Exhale, twist. Look at your left shoulder. Flex your right toes. Three breaths. One, two, and three. On your next breath, release the pose. Shake your legs if you feel the need to. Bend your knees. Hold the backs of your thigh. Lean back. Slowly transition yourself lying down. Knees still bent. A couple of hip bridges. This is very good for your butt and for your core. So adjust your feet so that it's a couple of inches away from your butt, your fingertips are touching your heels. Tuck your chin slightly to lengthen the spine. Knees are pointing forward or pointing up, not pointing sideways. We're going to be lifting our hips. Inhale. Exhale as you lift your hips. And then release your hips down. Inhale. Lift your hips up. Exhale, release your hips down. One more time. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, release your hips down. Inhale, lift your hips up. We'll please squeeze your butt. We'll be staying here for five. Lift your hips as high as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Gently drop your hips down. Hug your knees. If you want to do your wheel pose or your plow pose, please feel free to do so. Really depends on what you feel tonight. Sway your hips from side to side. For those of you who will not be doing their wheel pose or plow pose. Let's do a supine twist. Hug your knees first, sway your hips from side to side for those of you who did your plow pose or your wheel pose. And then we'll all meet in a supine twist. Open your hands in a T position. With your knees still bent, take an inhale. Exhale, drop both knees to the right side. Look at your left hand. Try to have both shoulders on the mat. You can support the twist by putting your right hand to your left thigh. It's okay if your knees are not touching the mat but try to have both shoulders on the mat. If you feel good, you want to put your hands alongside your ears instead of the T position. You may also do a cactus arms. Do whatever feels good for you. Enjoy the supine twist. On your next breath, hug your knees. Sway your hips from side to side. And again, let's do the supine twist on the other side. Hands in T position or cactus arms or hands alongside your ears. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop both knees to the left side. Look at your right. This really feels good after those side bend.
On your next breath, lift your knees, hug your knees. Let's do happy baby pose. Bend your knees 90 degrees, the soles of the feet facing the ceiling. Hold the insoles of your feet. Pull your knees as near to your armpit. Feel the mat from your lower back. Feel the mat from your upper back. Tuck your chin slightly. Take an inhale. Exhale as you sway your hips from side to side, side to side for a gentle massage. And if you have enough, extend your legs. Open your legs as wide as the mat. Allow your toes to drop to both sides. Hands beside the body a couple of inches away from you. Palms up, palms facing the ceiling. Tuck your chin slightly to lengthen the spine. If you feel safe, close your eyes. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth. One more time, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Last one, inhale through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Now relax your body, relax your feet, relax your legs, relax your knees. Relax your thighs, your pelvic area, your butt area. Relax your core. Relax your arms, your hands. Relax your fingertips. Relax your whole hand. Relax your shoulders, your chest. Relax your neck your jaw, relax your tongue, relax your face, relax the whole body as you feel it melting to the ground, surrendering to Shavasana. I'm going to be playing some music. We'll be ending the practice together. Just enjoy Shavasana.
Now, bringing the awareness back to the body, gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your hands, sway your head gently from side to side. Put your feet together, lift your hands alongside your ears and give yourself a good stretch, just like waking up in the morning. And if you feel you have enough, go to that side lying position, creating a pillow from your hand, still keeping your eyes closed, feeling the difference of your body from how you started the practice tonight. Thanking your body for showing up to the mat today. Thanking your breath for the energy and the mind for the focus. And with a gentle push of your hand, let's all meet in an easy seated cross-legged position. Eyes are still closed. We're going to be ending the practice with three deep cleansing breaths. Inhale, raise your hands up, palms together in prayer. Exhaling hands in heart center. Inhale, raise your hands up to receive all the positive things. Exhaling everything down to your heart center. Last one. Inhale, lift your hands up, palms together to receive all the peace, happiness, and solitude that we all wish to receive. Exhaling everything down to your heart center. We bow down our head and quietly say the words, I attract and receive all the love that I dream of and deserve. Gently open your eyes, bringing yourself back into your room, back into your light. Thank you for sharing your beautiful and strong energy with me tonight. This is Teacher Beth. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Sir Dudes. Thank you, I. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the flow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. If we can have our picture taken. Thank you, sir, for joining. All right. Okay. So let's have our picture taken in one, two, three, and there you go. All right. Thank you so much. Enjoy the night. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, I. Thank you, Sir Dudes. Thank you, Miss Bianca. Thank you. Good night, Bob.